like always, Emerson got way too ahead of me, and I'm not ready, and he's already starting. So, do you want to just pause, pause, be in the thing, just that way you're not halfway done by the time we start. Today we're going to show you guys how to install a kill switch. So you can install a kill switch, I don't know, for whatever reason you want. But we're putting it in as like a safety precaution, which obviously there was a lot of debate whether we put a video about putting in a kill switch. You know, it defeats the purpose kind of, but screw it. Fuck it. So today we're gonna show you guys how to install a kill switch. Basically, if you don't know, pretty much the whole point is so that when you get in the car, you turn on the ignition, this, if the switch is in the off position, the car won't start. You flick the switch on, the car will start. So even if someone, like there's already an alarm system in the car, we're putting a kill switch as just like a secondary thing. So like, yeah, you shatter the window, the alarm goes off. Okay, no one is around, you just, Drive away, alarm on, right? As a third precaution, because we're putting this on the internet, every night when I park the car, it's gonna get a parking boot on the wheels. So you guys, have fun. And we have no idea what we're doing, like always. So, I know what I'm doing. Emerson knows what we're doing, because while I was setting everything up, he was in the car Googling stuff and figuring it out for me, because that's what Emerson does while I am lazy. So thanks to him, we know how to do all the things we do. Hey man, that's a good shirt. Did you know these shirts are on sale right now? They're on sale. I'm gonna learn with you guys right now. If you didn't see the video from Tuesday, we got attacked, baby! We got attacked! Do you want to unplug the battery first? Sure. Okay, that's a, probably a great idea. Okay, here's the cutters. Now, do you want to explain to the people what you're doing first? The shirt's choking me. <laughs> well, mostly yeah. the, this comes from your ignition. Okay. You stick your key in, two looms come down. Then you open this one where there's black with yellow stripe. White with black stripe, and the one one saw yellow. You want the black with yellow stripe, and you cut that, wire in your switch, and that's pretty much it. One side where the plug is goes into the switch, and the other side goes into the other side of the switch. So what color are we cutting? Black with white, yellow stripe. So we're gonna cut the black with the yellow stripe wire, run new wire from the one end to the switch, run this to here, and then basically when this is down, you can't, like you turn the key, nothing will happen. Then you flick this up and you turn the key and the car will start. So you run wire to here and then from here back to the other end, basically closing the circuit. So we're gonna do it and we're gonna test it and see if we actually know what we're talking about. <laughs> and then if we do, you guys will see a video. He cut the black with yellow stripes wire and now he's just stripping the ends and then we're gonna wire the ends of our new wire to there, to the switch, and then back to there. And then we'll, I guess, test it out. Okay, so we have these now are crimped. You can see the little ends. So it looks ghetto, but it's gonna be tucked up in the panel anyways. So now the two wires run down. And basically what we're gonna do is just like wrap it around the switch before we put on these little guys. So these will just, we'll crimp these on the end and then this will be able to just pop onto the back of the switch. But we wanna test it first to make sure that we don't put it all together and then the car just never starts. So we're gonna just kind of wrap it around, that's what Emerson's doing right now. And then we're gonna put power back to the car, try it, make sure it works. Okay mate, battery's on. Do you know which way should be on and off? We'll find out. It's on, so we have the switch closed. So the switch is closed right now? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's open this so these guys get a better idea. All right, so now flip the switch. Yeah, brother! Yeah. It works! Nice. That's actually worked way better. I did not think that was gonna work at all. I totally thought we were gonna pooch this. We got it first try. So now, basically, everybody gets to do their own thing. We obviously are gonna show you this part. Take this and just like pop one of these out and put it here kind of thing. That's the idea, right? So, you guys get it? Good. So basically then you just gotta pick a spot, put it there. Like I said, if you wanna put it on the dash or something, just like pop a piece out, put it on the dash. Then you get in, flick your cool little ninja switch up. Turn your car on, turn your car off. I don't know. Everybody can put it wherever they want. If you wanna like hide it or something, you can do that too. You can hide it and then that's what a lot of people do. We're just doing it as like an extra precaution. You get in the car, you maybe you don't know what that switch is. Now you guys know what the switch is, but someone that's just trying to steal it because they saw the car might not know what the switch is. So that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video. I know today's video was kind of short and it was probably actually really short. I'm sorry for that. And I know all your comments about putting this on the internet, just save them because we did it anyways. If you guys didn't already see us put in the tack this week, go back and watch us put in the tack. We're doing a couple things that are just small. Like we're gonna put on a Home Depot front lip. 
We're gonna do a bunch of stuff like that just to kind of fill the void while we're waiting, like I said, for all the parts to come in. And that's that's basically it. We spend a bunch of money on like Wish and all the and all the knockoff sites. And dude, you broke the chair. Yeah, we spent a bunch of money on parts, so we're just waiting for them to come in. That's the only problem with this build is that everything from Wish and Oh, like AliExpress, all of those websites take so long to come in. So we're trying to fill the void best we can with little things. This was just another little thing. If you worry about your car being stolen, this is uh, probably the number one thing. If you hide the switch or something, maybe people don't know. Maybe just put it in plain sight, people don't notice it. I don't know, you do you. That's it, sorry about today's video being so short. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you next time. Peace out, everybody thank Emerson for Doing work. Keep kicking me out, man. You kick me out, you start doing the job. I'm not gonna fight you. Just, okay, just do the work. Thanks. I just watch. It's great. I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Stay committed.